Everything that we do on a daily basis is producing dopamine in our brains. From finishing the workouts, from finishing our homework, from being on our phone, or from watching TV, we're constantly getting dopamine released throughout our day. Now, dopamine is a neurotransmitter that helps us anticipate a reward, which gives us the motivation to get that reward. For example, you receive a notification on your phone, now you anticipate a reward. So now you're thinking, well, maybe someone texted me, or maybe I got a like on social media. So now, to get the reward, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your phone and you're gonna start scrolling and boom that dopamine is instantly released. Without dopamine, we wouldn't even survive. But the problem is that nowadays, we're getting addicted to false dopamine. Now, what I call false dopamine is dopamine that we get with no real effort and only gives us temporary satisfaction. And the constant release of this false dopamine only ends up affecting our lives in a very negative way in the long run. Now, what I call real dopamine is dopamine that we get with real effort and meaningful activities that ends up affecting our lives in a positive way over the long run. And you probably are thinking to yourself, well, isn't it bad to constantly get dopamine? You can't really go a day without dopamine because if you were to actually go a day or go a couple of days without any real dopamine getting released, you would most likely be unmotivated, depressed, sad, anxious. And there's actually a disease that I recently found out that actually this disease, I believe it's called Parkinson's disease. People who have Parkinson's disease actually are low in dopamine. If you were to go with life with low dopamine, then that means that you would not be 100% healthy. When we end up addicted to false dopamine, we end up hurting ourselves over the long run. For example, you go on your phone and you start scrolling mindlessly for five hours. Nobody ever benefits from being on their phone all day. I mean, you gotta think about it. Nobody ever said, wow, I spent a good day today. I, I just spent my day on my phone today. Like that's all I did today. It felt so good. I feel so satisfied, so motivated that ends up affecting your life in a very negative way over the long run if you were to do this all day every day another example of false dopamine is doing drugs or drinking alcohol these things are going to give you that short burst of dopamine once you drink the alcohol and once you get that puff of smoke but once you're done with it the dopamine is going to go away and now your brain is going to seek this dopamine more and more and so what you're going to do you're most likely going to seek that alcohol you're going to seek that drink or you're going to seek that cigarette and the more you do it the more the more your brain will ask for it and this could be dangerous because it will get to a point where you might get addicted to it and ends up affecting your life and most likely even ruining your life another example of this is gambling i mean you go to a casino you play a little game and then you end up winning a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars that dose of dopamine that you got from that especially from the uncertainty of the reward you didn't know if you're gonna win or not but you just rolled the dice and boom you ended up winning and you're gonna end up getting addicted to that uncertainty of the reward you're gonna go and you're gonna play and you're gonna be like damn if i'm gonna win this i probably win a thousand dollars and then you're gonna bet on that and you're gonna keep on gambling, gambling, gambling and gambling is actually a serious addiction. Another false dopamine is eating junk food a lot. All of this fat and all that sugar that you're eating, it gives you that temporary satisfaction. And the problem is that you end up getting addicted to it. There are a lot of people out there who are literally addicted to sugar. And what happens when you get addicted to sugar and when you get addicted to junk food? You're most likely gonna end up overweight, obese. And what happens when you get to that point in your life? You most likely are gonna end up with some health problem, probably diabetes or probably some heart problem. And if you don't take care yourself in the long run when you're in that situation you're gonna end up not living as long as you would have liked because you didn't take care of yourself physically because you got addicted to that false dopamine of sugar and all that processed fat that is not healthy for you at all so now that we went over what dopamine is and a couple of examples of false dopamine let's go over the real sources of dopamine that can actually help you more in the long run and not hurt you accomplishing a goal right now after i'm done with this i'm going to get a release of dopamine but the thing is that the difference between this release of dopamine that i'm going to get after this and compared to laying on my bed and scrolling on my phone mindlessly or watching tv that dopamine release that i'm getting from the tv takes no real effort and is not going to help me in the long run but the difference between this release of dopamine that I'm going to get the moment I'm done with this is that this is towards accomplishing a small goal that I have throughout my day. The moment that I accomplish it, I'm going to get a dose of dopamine. Me accomplishing those small goals that are going to get me towards the bigger goal that I want to accomplish are going to help me in the long run to getting to where I want to go in life. If I were to lay down on my bed and just be on my phone 24 seven or just watch TV 24 seven, sorry for that beep of the car and just do nothing at all. That's not going to help me at all with my goals, with my life. And I'm most likely not going to lead a good satisfying life i'm not even going to get to where i want to go to in life and when you are striving to accomplish your goal and you accomplish small goals you're getting that source of dopamine and that is real dopamine that is dopamine that you're actually putting in real effort in order to accomplish in order to get another example is taking cold showers which actually releases dopamine that is long lasting to actually help you get things done throughout the day i actually even made a video going deeper on cold showers that i recently made if you guys haven't checked that one out go ahead and check it out this could be doing physical activity like running or lifting weights whenever you're done with a workout you actually end up feeling a lot better i mean recently like not too long ago my sister was about to work out in the afternoon and she didn't feel like working out and she told me that and i was like even if you feel bad before a workout or if you don't feel like doing it at all one thing's for sure 
if you work out, there's never a workout that you do after that you feel bad for doing or that you regret doing. This could be any goal that you have. The more you strive towards that goal, the dopamine that you get from that is real dopamine. And that is the type of dopamine that you want to get. One of the sources that I get real dopamine from is writing. I write my newsletter weekly. If you guys follow my newsletter, which if you guys haven't subscribed to it, go ahead and subscribe to it every Sunday. 100% free, I release my newsletter. That is another form of real dopamine because it actually takes real effort writing to actually get that dopamine release. Hobbies and passions. Now, one of the things that I do at night to decompress from my day sometimes is to do some form of art, whether that's painting something that I bought or that's coloring uh, you know, a certain book. I, you know, I have markers and I be coloring, you know, expressing my creativity, using that creativity side of my brain. I know a lot of y'all probably looking at me and you're like, bro, you're over 20 years old and you're coloring or you're doing art. Like stop being childish. That is not childish at all because I'm actually using my creativity side. And it also helps me decompress from my day and doing something like art or like reading helps me decompress my day once you're completing the art whatever it may be you are getting that real dopamine because it actually took real effort to get it helps you with getting less stress helps you with less anxiety helps you be more calm and in the moment this could be playing an instrument for you this could be cooking this could be dancing this could be walking in nature all these habits and passions that you have that actually help you in the long run these are real sources of dopamine that you actually want to get i mean you'll never feel anxious or sad or depressed the longer you walk in nature i mean the more you walk in nature the more happy the more grateful you're going to be the more in a better mood you're going to be spending quality time with people building and nurturing relationships actually helps you activate the brain's reward system and honestly i'm not going to lie to you I, I love spending time with family now i mean the things that i've been through so far last year and the things that you know i guess you could say help me reflect on my life it has helped me get closer to my family and get closer to the people that i actually love and the more i spend time with family the more better my life feels the more satisfying and fulfilled my life feels because i'm spending quality time with people that i actually love this could be family this could be friends this could be your girlfriend or your boyfriend this could be whoever it is that you love spend quality time with them and the more you spend quality time with them the more real dopamine you're going to get which is better then spending time on your own, scrolling on your phone and just isolating yourself from everyone 24 seven. Personal growth and constant learning. When you are constantly trying to learn more, you're actually stimulating more dopamine release. This could be reading a book. Maybe you finish 10 pages or you finish an entire book. Now, when it comes to reading, you gotta be careful, right? Because even though reading does release dopamine in your brain, you gotta be careful with reading and making sure that you actually take action on that knowledge that you gain. But reading overall is a great source of real dopamine that's gonna help you change your life in a positive way. Another form of real dopamine that you can get from learning is learning a new skill, mastering a skill. When you're mastering and learning a skill that can probably give you more income, doing these things gives you real sources of dopamine because like I said, real dopamine is putting in real effort and meaningful activities that help you in the long run in a positive way. And when you're learning a new skill, that can better your financial life or better your life overall in whatever area in your life and you're reading a book that can overall improve your life you're learning more and when you're getting that release of dopamine this is a real dopamine that you actually have to work for because you can't master a skill without putting in any effort you can't finish a book without putting in any effort now when it comes to personal growth this can be eating a lot more better because when you eat a lot more rich protein foods you actually get that release of dopamine this could also be expressing gratitude when you express gratitude you get that release of dopamine but you not only get release of dopamine you also get a release of serotonin which both add to feelings of happiness and pleasure meditating is another great way to get that release of dopamine because you feel good afterwards and another form of dopamine release that you could get which is also aligned with working towards a goal is working out when you're building something in your life whether that's building your physique building your career building a skill building the life that you want to live you're getting that release of real dopamine and real dopamine is a type of dopamine that you actually want to get addicted to now i'm not saying get addicted to it in like in a you know like in a scratching you know scratching yourself type of way but you want to do more things throughout your day that give you real dopamine instead of fake dopamine now i'm not going to stand here and tell you guys that i don't engage in any fake dopamine releases like going on your phone mindlessly because i do but i'm not addicted to them now i for sure do not drink i don't do any drugs i don't watch the hub either so these false dopamines i for sure don't do it goes to the point now where i check my phone like very minimally the only thing that i do on my phone is when i'm watching youtube when i'm eating but other than that when it comes to me scrolling on my phone i mean i don't even have social media right now so i really can't scroll on my phone so like, i spend really minimal time on my phone we need to get back to that point in our lives where we're more addicted to real dopamine than we are 
start to fake dopamine because in the long run doing things that give you real dopamine that i mentioned throughout this video are going to help us out in our lives it's going to help us grow it's going to help us create the life that we want to live it's going to help us live a lot more happier and a lot more fulfilling lives but if we were to spend time doing all the things that give us fake dopamine throughout our days we're going to notice ourselves having less satisfying lives it might be feel fun in the moment right like you are drinking or you're doing drugs or you're you know watching the hub it might give you that short satisfactory moment in the moment but it's not going to help you in the long run i mean you're going to end up getting a lot more anxious a lot less confident in yourself you're not going to be in the best shape if you engage in things that give you false dopamine 24 7. so make sure that throughout the day you're engaging in things that gives you real dopamine throughout the day i'm not saying that you have to be perfect and you have to get rid of all the fake dopamine that you get from like being on your phone because we all go on our phone but the point of this is to not get addicted to that false dopamine to make sure that we're in control of what we do throughout the day and to make sure that throughout the day we do a lot more things that give us real dopamine sources instead of doing things that give us fake dopamine. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. I'm out.